Hello, ActorSage here on the Sage channel, and an update came out today that, well, the main thing added is right there in front of you. It is a control panel of sorts with an assortment of buttons, and if I was to click on any of these by pressing T, you can see they do things. That is because if I was to click on any of them with K, it brings this up here, and you can click and drag the different lights and systems on board your ship down to the bottom action bars here, just as you usually would. So if I was to just, let's say, put that down there, and set it up like that just as if I was in a cockpit. Now, if I press that second button, you can see I've actually begun to float. And of course I can press X and now I'm free floating and press T on that again. And now the gravity came back on. It's pretty dang awesome. Anyway, let's carry on down these little hallways here and hop into an elevator, which is much easier to do now. So you just press T on that button there that I had set to reverse the direction of this piston and it'll take us up here to a bridge of sorts. And by the way, I have a down call button there on this elevator as well. That way I can go back down. I did think about putting these actually on the elevator, but of course it's a full blocks length from left to right. So it didn't exactly fit back down there and cause some issues, but I think it's best to have it full length. That way you can connect it to the side walls if you need be and you don't just want to connect to the back wall there or the bottom floor. Anyway, moving on, right here we have a assortment of buttons above us. So these will actually go ahead and turn on all the different lights. So let's go through these. I have each of these set to a group. So now you can see that we have a bunch of lights turned on down here. And if I was to go back through those, you can see that the different sets of lights go on and off, which is pretty dang awesome. I'm really happy with that. And this last button right here opens these huge doors down there. Pretty awesome. It's amazing what you can do with this update, being able to set all those different lights, different groups of lights, that's what all these were, and then the piston group that controls two separate pistons for each of the sets of doors on either side. And you can see there's something down there. Now, this is the other big thing, and now I'm going to press tab, and this is why my UI's been off this whole time, because you can see there's these little icons showing up down there, and one up there. These are antennas on these different ships and stuff. This is the one antenna for the station we're on right now, and then there's three down there. Now. With antennas, now you can actually control different ships. So those three ships, because they have an antenna and their range of the antenna is set large enough to be caught by this. So it sets out for 500 meters and this is within 500 meters and this sets out for a thousand and that's well within a thousand meters. They can communicate. So if I go and press K on the center button here, I comes up with these, all the systems of course in our ship. But at the top left here, you can now see we have a pull down here and this little dot 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 button. So if we press dot 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 button, it shows you all the different ships in the area, which uh, is a bit cheaty. I think that you can see ones that are out of range. Maybe they don't show up if they've never been within range before, but a bit interesting that you can see them here. But you can actually go ahead and double click on one of those or select it from the pull down. And to be able to access all this stuff, you have to make sure when you built the ship, you either built it with ownership set to you or have actually done a control A, selected everything and set them to be set that to you or at least shared with your faction or it must be built by somebody else and then shared with their faction that you're in that way you can actually access them at, from a distance but as you can see now I'm actually in control of all that stuff down there so if I wanted I can actually tell those little ships to buzz up here by pressing pressing K on that we'll go ahead and select one of those light show things and we're going to select the all button and we're going to tell it to turn on and what that'll do is turn on all the different systems I have set up there and bring this little light show ship up. And it came in a bit quicker than expected. Let's go ahead and actually turn off its thrusters. So again, we'll just select light show one and we're going to disable its base thrusters, which you can see I have an override set to. We can actually turn those down to that. And if we wanted, we could actually go ahead and select its top thrusters and turn those up for just a second to get it moving a bit and then shut those off again. So it pushed it down. So there you go, remote control. I just controlled that from this control panel. You can't just click and drag anything from those apparently down onto your pads here, unfortunately, because they're not showing up. It's only showing what's on the station, but I suspect that'll be coming pretty soon. The, anything you can access through the antennas, you'll actually be able to set it on these actual control buttons as well, which will be pretty dang awesome. So let's go ahead and actually get our other two light show bots. Let's select this one, say, go ahead, turn on. Let's get those base thrusters going for a bit. And as soon as I see it showing up a bit in the background, I'll go ahead and toggle. Yep, okay came in pretty quick so yeah you can see they shoot up here pretty quickly and let's go ahead and grab our third one too pretty dang awesome that it can do this a bit disconcerting when you can't exactly see what you're doing so select all turn them on get our base thrusters we'll just give that a big boost and then we'll shut that off and that last one doesn't seem like it quite made it up all the way 
but here it is and you can see all this stuff I had turned on from a distance. Now, another thing you can do with these, so if I was to go ahead and copy this and shift it around to right here, so the base engines as I was calling them, that's the engines right here at the bottom, are set facing that way, I can actually press this button and it'll toggle all the different systems. So it toggled everything off, it turned those on. So actually down here, if we were to fly out, I have another one set up here, so I'll drag this over here. And this is a same thing as before. This little button that I was pressing on the side, it's basically this, the same button panel. If you place it on a small ship, it becomes a singular button. And you program it the same way you do as the other ones. You press K on it, and then you can drag different functions down to it. And you see I have it set the to toggle on and off everything, so I turn that on, and away it goes. A very, very interesting light show. And that one actually had an impact, so... Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> and you can see because that button's a bit strange the way I have it said it actually shuts off the front engines there. Actually, they probably just stay off. So yeah, some craziness. And of course, if I wanted to stop that thing from flying, if it, ooh, if it had a functional antenna, which I don't believe it does, I could of course shut it off from any control panel up here or even from any of these other small ships if I was able to access their control panel. Since they have an antenna and they're talking back and forth to the station which I own, I can control everything from them as well. Yeah, pretty strange, pretty weird, pretty interesting. A lot of possibilities, and I really... Oh wow, look at that. Base small thrusters. I must have accidentally toggled them to show up on this the HUD. Interesting. Yeah, you gotta be careful with clicking around on that stuff. You can have some trouble. But it's pretty dang cool that you can control that. Hopefully, eventually, they'll let you go. Control, click all this different stuff, and then while holding control select something else and click through it and then be able to group them all together that way you can toggle huge groups of different vehicles at once but currently as you can see you're only able to control one at a time and it's not through these buttons but a we'll get there anyway that's it guys that's this update in a nutshell they also added a few other little things like hud voices for low health and stuff and some extra modding support allowing you to do transparent materials a bit better. Oh, and right before I go, there is one last thing that if you are in the control panel here of this button panel, you can actually toggle anyone can use here. So if you have this on, everyone can use it. But I think it's a bit redundant considering it should be shared with faction. Maybe it's just designed to keep griefers from messing up your stuff. Anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.